हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सेल्फ असेसमेंट टेस्ट प्लीज पोज द वीडियो एंड टेक आउट अ पेन एंड अ पेपर फॉर राइटिंग द ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द हिंड्रेंस प्रेजेंटेड बाय मटेरियल ऑफ कंडक्टर टू द स्मूथ पासिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज नॉन एस ए रेजिस्टेंस बी कंडक्टेंस सी इंडक्टेंस डी नन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकंड, विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द एसआई यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट ए ओम बी एम्पियर सी वॉल्ट डी फेरेडे क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ अ कंडक्टर इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू इट्स ए डेंसिटी बी मेल्टिंग पॉइंट सी लेंथ डी एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन Question number four: When a 40 volt battery is connected across an unknown wire, there is a current of 100 milliampere in the circuit. The value of resistance of the wire A 500 ohm, B 400 ohm, C 0.8 ohm, D none of this. Question number five: The resistivity does not change if A the material is changed, B the temperature is changed, C the shape of the wire is changed. D both material and temperature are changed Question number 6 which of the following is not correctly matched A an electric cell B a resistor C open plug key Question number 7 The electric current originates from which part of an atom? A nucleus, B entire atom acting as a unit, C positively charged protons, D negatively charged electrons. Question number eight: The ratio of voltage and electric current in a closed circuit A decreases, B increases, C remains constant, D varies. Question number 9 The heating element of an electric iron is made up of A copper B nichrome C aluminium D iron Question number 10 Voltmeter is used to measure A charge B current C potential difference D resistance these are the answers of all the questions please check it yourself do your self assessment thank you hello students i hope your test was good if you haven't scored good marks nothing to worry please revise all the topics again and study little bit harder okay today i am going to explain you about basic concept of the next topic which is one of the important topic of class 10 so please pay attention our today's topic is combination of resistors as you can see this word is new for you you saw no resistors what are resistors resistors are electrical component which have resistance which have resistance and whose basic or primary function is to limit the flow of current through circuit once again 
resistors are electrical component which have resistance and whose primary function is to limit the flow of current through circuit. The symbolic representation of resistor is same as that of resistance which is a zigzag line like this. Okay. Now where we can see resistors? We can see resistors in small electrical circuits like a motherboard in a computer. Many of you have seen a motherboard. Okay. In that motherboard, there are many electrical components, small, small electrical components fitted. Yes or no? One of them is resistors. Resistors look like this. Okay. Now, how can we combine resistors? We can combine resistors in two ways. Resistors in series and resistors in parallel parallel okay let us see how consider t resistors of resistance r1 r2 and r3 And if that three resistors are connected like this, then they are said to be connected in series. Now, suppose this is the start of first resistor and this is the end. Now, the end of first resistor will be the start of second resistor. And suppose this is the end of second resistor. The end of second resistor will be the start of third resistor. In this way, we can connect uh, many resistors in series. Not only three, we can connect many other resistors as well. Okay, so this is the way we can connect resistors in series. Now we will connect resistors in parallel. See how. R1, R2, R3. So there are three resistors, and this is the way we can connect them in parallel. Okay, how? See, all the three resistors have same starting point and same ending point. So in this way, we can connect them in parallel. Okay, now we will connect these three resistors with a cell and here also positive negative positive negative the potential difference of this is b and this is also b okay now the main difference between series combination and parallel combination is that in series combination current flowing through each resistor is same which means if current i is flowing to the circuit the same current i will flow through r1 r2 and r3 the current will be same to each resistor okay now second potential difference will be different across resistors now across this resistor the potential difference will be v1 across this resistor the potential difference will be v2 and across this resistor the potential difference will be v3 the sum of this potential difference that is v1 v2 plus v3 will be equal to the total potential difference of the cell okay remember potential difference will be different in series but current will be same okay in parallel exact opposite of series will happen 
let us see how in parallel current will be different to resistors okay suppose current i is flowing okay this current i will be divided into i1 i2 i3 when connected in parallel okay so when they are connected in parallel current will be different but potential difference will be same potential difference across r1 r2 and r3 will be same which will be equal to v okay potential difference will be same when they are connected in parallel but current will be different okay so this is the main difference between series and parallel okay now not only resistors electrical appliances can also be connected in series and parallel in our home there are different switches right why because if we switch on one electrical appliances only one will start suppose these are electrical appliances suppose instead of resistor these are electrical appliances this is a fan this is a tv and this is a refrigerator all of them will have different switches okay so at home which connection we are using at home we are using parallel connection all electrical appliances are connected in parallel and and all electrical appliances have potential difference across them they have potential difference equal to 220 volt all of them have same potential difference but current flowing through each of them will be different and it will be according to their resistance okay so what is an example of parallel combination the circuit at our home is an example of parallel combination understood now in series what can be an example for decorative purpose we are using series uh, we usually say a name series yes or no the bulbs small small bulbs which are in series and which are connected one by one that is an example of series combination suppose one of the bulb is uh, broken or it is uh, short circuited then what will happen the whole series will not work because if one of them will open right then the current will not flow through the circuit and if current will not flow through the, the series uh, all the appliances in the series will go off understood so what is an example of series combination the series which we are using in decorative purpose yes or no for decoration of or lighting our home during diwali and during different festivals understood so series combination and parallel combination we can see in our daily life as well okay but what is combination of resistors we can combine these resistors instead of just three resistors we can use one resistors which will behave in the same way these three resistors are behaving let the combination the combined resistance of this three resistors in series be rs okay in series combination rs will be equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 the sum of three resistors will be equal to the combined resistance in series okay this is the formula for series combination of resistor okay in parallel suppose instead of this three we are using one resistor rp which will have the same effect as that of three resistors in parallel okay the formula for rp will be 1 by rp will be equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so this is the formula for parallel combination of resistors understood now 
this formulas we will derive in the next video so please understand the concept and then in the next video we will do the derivation okay thank you and have a nice day